Hi Sharks, my name is Jenna An and I'm a co-founder and CEO of Millie. Today we're asking for 1.2 million euro for a 12% equity stake in my company Millie. But first I'll start off with my personal story a little bit. I grew up in a small town in Korea and my parents don't even speak English. Since I was very young, I told everyone that I want to go study at an Ivy League school. People told me it's impossible to do. But every time people said that, I thought about my favorite quote, which is, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? So fast forward, I did go to an Ivy League school and that led me to a lot of exciting opportunities. I lived in New York, London, Singapore. I worked in data science and investment banking. During this exciting journey, I felt there's one thing that was missing, which was mentorship and guidance, especially during the high school years. So I quit JP Morgan and I started Millie. High school students around the world are having choice paralysis, whether to study game design or machine learning, or study in their home country, or to go to the US or UK. What we offer at Millie is the big brother, big sister you wish you had, except there's hundreds of us. So we make your children's choice paralysis into the world is your oyster. We are already trusted by some of the leading international and independent schools in 35 countries, including Eton College in the UK. And we've done more than 1.5 million euro of cumulative revenue so far. All three co-founders are Ivy League graduates and we've built an equally impressive team of mentors. We are currently 1,100 strong and some of our mentors are Forbes 30 under 30, pursuing a doctoral degree or work at world-class organizations such as United Nations, Google, and Apple. So why Malta? We came to Malta for three things. So number one is the operating base. And then number two is better access to Europe and the Middle East, which is our target market. And number three is funding. In terms of funding, we have a very ambitious goal of going from having 24 partner schools to 500 partner schools by 2026. And to achieve this goal, we need a huge boost in technology and sale. That's why we're doing a seed round funding of 1.8 million euro. However, today I'm asking you guys for 1.2 million euro out of this because 600K out of this money will come from other means of um, funding. What's unique about our opportunity is that we're gonna make your money work much, much harder. That's because we're expecting about 10 million of um, operating expenses in the next three years and about 8 million of them will be covered through our own revenue. You, ha you have our um, financials in front of you as well as a more detailed investment deck in front of you. So if you're curious to hear more about the numbers or our business model or hear more about our amazing mentors, please ask away. Thanks a million. So, Jenna. Yes. Basically, having a quick look, you valuated your company at 10 mil, right? It was. <laughs> so, when you explained that you're going to grow from 24 countries, 24 schools. We schools? Have schools? Yes. Yeah. yeah. To how many? 500. How are you going to impact so possible in such a short time? How long has the company been operating for, first of all? We incorporated our company in 2019. Okay. But as you can imagine, with the COVID and initially starting, you can think of it as first two years, not so much of revenue happening. So last year, we did over 500K of revenue. And this year, we, we are expecting to do a year from 800 to 900K. As we're gaining credibility, we became part of the school associations. We are partner of um, Fobizia, which is Federation of British International Schools in Southeast Asia. And we're also partner of COBIS, which is 540 British international schools outside of the UK. We've been targeting these conferences where we can meet a lot of these uh, high schools at once. We'll be spending uh, close to 2 million in 2024. Have you uh, committed to the hiring of the people that are listed in your financials? Right now, we have six full-time and then we have about 20 part-time members. And then in terms, of the Mal in terms of Malta, we have one job rec open here already. However, some of the Malta job recs, you would see the Malta or remote, Malta or remote. So we're expecting to have five to six of these headcount through the Malta Enterprises, the um, startup Great. financing scheme. Your platform, it's, I can log in now and I can go online and find your platform there. It's working and it's connecting 
students to mentors already? It is a platform, but it's still very rudimentary. So how have you been generating? You said you generated 1.5 million turnovers so yeah. far, right? How? how have you done it? So we have two lines of businesses. We're providing this educational content as well as the access to the mentors in a group setting. And that only makes up about 3% of the revenue. So the rest of the revenue comes from guidance coaching and then academic mentoring. So think of this as a tutoring and college counseling. So we match one-on-one -on -one, and then that's where 97% of our revenue is coming from. So from a financial perspective, you're asking for 1.2 million. Yeah. And have you got any exit plans in mind? If I'm holding 12% of your shares, yeah. assuming no further dilutions, yeah. four years down the road, I'll be making a slim return. Not even. Okay. I, I've calculated that you need more than eight years. Our exit strategy, it's a PE play. We're gonna be bought by some of the you know, educational conglomerate. Or another way is we could become part of like a schools, you know, community mentor network access, which is less exciting than the first case. We wanna go bigger into the play, but that's where we see ourselves going in. And to your point of like 2027 would be the minority exit. Have you sought external investment before? Yeah, we have two rounds of investment before. We've raised a little over $800,000. Have you asked if the investors want to reinvest your we current will, investment base? Yeah, we will do that, but we actually didn't open it up outside of Malta yet. I think the valuation is too steep for my liking, so I'm out. Sure, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. For me, I, to be honest, I really like your energy and your passion about you. the way you, you explained it was just super. But it is something which I wouldn't want to invest in. It's not my line of business. So for this reason, I'm out. Thank you. Um, they already asked all the questions I wanted to ask. I just have two more things not based on financials. Sure. How involved does the mentor get? We are not connected to any universities. And then that's actually what we pride on ourselves. We are an independent advisor. We get very involved. So at the rate of, we do admissions, like, you know, yesterday we had a student getting into Brown University, you know, we got the news and we get very, very, very involved, but at the ethical and the level that it's the, you become the best version of yourself. Okay, well, I also would not in invest because I think the valuation is steep, it's, there's too much um, happening, but, I would love to get your service for my son who has to go off to college in two years. Definitely, so yes, yeah. I'll get your Definitely. contact. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So Jenny, I'm seeing that you're investing a lot on human capital. So 3.7 million in a year in cost of human capital. If there would have been more automation, more using AI maybe, or learning, learning machines, you know? Um, uh, that is one thing that I wanted to bring um, um, to point out. The second thing is the numbers would still remain the same. I mean, from a financial standpoint, um, uh, I find it very difficult to invest in something which you would probably or possibly get your money back, not making a profit, in nine years or eight years' time. So that, for me, it's it's a bit of a... Long shot. Yeah. It's a bit of a yeah, long yeah. shot, yes. So I, for that reason, I will not invest. Thank you. No, I tend to agree with my colleagues here. The return on investment doesn't work out for us, so we'll have to call it a day too. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Can I mention one thing? So sure. about the uh, platform and AI, we get that question a lot. We are finally at the stage with thousands and tens of thousands of students. Now we are thinking about how to cut this content, how to make it even better, how to you know, optimize the performance as well as the student and then the customer, you know, management side of the things. And I think that when some of the founders, when they say, it's easy for me to say when you have a hundred clients, like, you know, you're gonna use AI, but now we're at the stage we can use this. So hopefully in the next, you know, three, four years, this is our ambition. We have a much more, you know, detailed plan so. to how to make it even more, less human capital heavy. But I just wanted to mention that because Ultimately, you need to show the number first before trying to build some fancy app. But Jenny, if I can just just a little bit to round it up on this yeah. this matter. So, so if you are envisaging to have a higher critical mass, which will give you this. Now we're at this stage. Yeah. You're at this stage. So I would have plugged the numbers in a different way, okay. in my opinion. Okay. Because you're showing 3.6 million, which is human capital, and not adding in the AI or the learning machine right. processes. So maybe that would have shown a different, yeah. a different um, yeah. scene, you know? I see. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks.
It's genuine, eh? It's a genuine... She is smart. The, the and it, it is a good product, just... The I'm not really interested in that. The numbers are... Mm -hmm. I think that majority of the feedback are very valuable and valid. Um, however, part of me think that if I had more time to explain a bit more about the, uh, the specifics of the uh, international and independent schools that we are in, and also the multiples and like the uh, the specifics of the education side of the things. But um, yeah, overall, I thought it was very helpful.